Hey there players, how are we? This is Dundee from Game Invaders and I'm checking out Chicken Police painted in red. So let's play. Dead men are heavier than broken hearts. I ran out to get a pack of cigarettes, but I left my wallet at home. Yeah. That's me. I'm getting old. Oh, Chuck, eh? My name is Sonny. Sonny Featherland. An investigator for 20 years. And once the star of the predatory division of the Clawville Police Department. One half of the legendary Chicken Police. But buying a pack of smokes is more than I can handle right now. Maybe I should just lay low. Yeah, I'll do that. The most colorful place in the wilderness. For all the gods, what bullshit. The last clucking color left this city years ago. And slowly I'll turn gray too. I cock cocked his gun. Still, what do I expect? We're living in a vast experiment and don't even notice that everything got clucked up a long time ago. We believe in this wonderland of peaceful coexistence. Wolves and sheep, chickens and hounds. Yeah, sure, why not? It's just ridiculous. The dog eats the chicken. It's in our nature. I'm not propping up the illusion anymore. 121 days, and it's over. Retirement. Well, retirement plot, eh? What could possibly go wrong? Everything. I better slip on my fedora for this game. Just me, or did that chick have a long neck? Ah, oh, crap. My office lock is a piece of shit if a dame can pick it. She stood in the darkness. The light painted stripes on her body. It whispered secret little things that were never there in the first place. A dame in the office. This reminds me of my favorite detective, Laszlo Woodbind. If anyone's heard of him, let me know in the comments. I don't even know where the key is. Whatever's inside is going to stay there forever. So it looks like a bit of a point-and-click adventure. And I like these styles of games. This is... Uh, this is one of the most beautiful memories from my old life. MB Day. Well, it looks like we can look at most things. Let's uh, have a look at the dame. But, uh... Who is this dame, anyway? And what the cluck is she doing in my... Let me... You're mistaken, ma'am. Oh, really? Please enlighten me, Mr. Featherland. I'm not a private eye. I'd recommend Philip... M uh, I mean, Mr. Philmar Lowe instead of... Believe me, Mr. Featherland. It's not an accident I came to you. Look, miss. I work for the police, and I'm currently on leave. I couldn't accept... Am I that easy to read? That's my job. But tell me, since you've invited yourself in, would you like a drink? Oh, he's smooth. I don't... I don't usually drink. Well, I've got to have one. And it'd be rude of me to drink alone. So, maybe some sherry? If you insist. But bourbon, huh. please. Huh. Thank the wild one. What a coincidence. So come on, spill it from... Let's have some bourbon. I prefer Irish whiskey, but bourbon's good. All right. Did we... That's better. Now, if I understand correctly, your mistress is receiving threats. What kind of threats, exactly? It's a very strange matter. First, there were letters. Then it came printed on a wine bottle's label, sent as a gift. 
then carved into a. I think it's time to dig a little oh, we deeper. We got a new clue. If you don't mind. Please, that's why I'm here. All right, maybe we should check our clues. Oh, maybe we should have some more cheap whiskey. Every whiskey has. So this is the part where the interrogation comes, like in those detective movies. Something like that, Deborah. Yeah. All right, so we need to interrogate her. Here we go. Question her. So focus on what you know about the subject. Is he or she suspicious? Concentrate on that. So she is John Doe. This fellow can't be a fellow. What? 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 This fellow is rather suspicious. I need to concentrate. Impression suspicious. All right. Okay. Gather impressions from a suspect. Every impression adds a new question line. Okay. And we've got a meter to tell us how must dodgy be we think they are. Smart. This dame seems shy. Alright, so we've got to select a question. Sounds like we've only got one at the moment. Who exactly are you, ma'am? I'm... I'm not somebody important, Mr. Featherland. She's not telling us her name. important enough to deal with such a delicate matter, right? I carry out the wishes of my employer, nothing more. This means simple paperwork. You've been thrown into deep water, sweetheart. Oh, trust her. Tell me. Believe me, this is just as unpleasant for me as it is for you. Hmm. Alright, so we're going to ask, tell me which part of the city do you live in? You're not very confident. Are you sure you're all right? Let's try that one. You're not very confident. Are you sure you're all right? Yes. Excuse me. I'm just a bit nervous. I've never done anything like that. Breaking into the apartments of strangers isn't that big a deal. Some people do. Please don't make fun of me, Mr. Feather. You're right. Sorry. So she's broke into our apartment. She didn't really tell us her name. Star sign, or did you come alone all by yourself? Hmm. Uh, I don't know if the star sign's gonna really help us. Let's go this way. Did you come alone? Oh. I took the subway, then the tram, and then I walked. It wasn't easy to find this place. Yeah. Well, this is quite unpleasant. Right. Were you born and raised in Chlorophyll? Did you even know what you want? Yeah. Do you even know what you want? I... I'm very sorry. What? You come in here, swaying your lovely hips like some kind of femme fatale. Make me have a drink with you. And expect me to believe everything you say? I'm making you... Well, okay. I'm sorry I wasted your time, Mr. Oh, Bella... Oh, let's go off. Oh. Press and shy. Doubtful, frightened. Why did you come to visit me? Why not your employer herself? My employer is Miss Natasha Katsenko. She hasn't been leaving her home. How so? Oh, we got a new person. Miss Natasha is afraid. She's scared because... So, she's that kind of woman. I don't know she what She looks like mean. the chick from Bojack Horseman. Of course you do, Deborah. Thank you, by the way. We avoided the point long enough. Deborah's hiding something, no question. Let's Okay. What do you want from me? What exactly do you expect by coming here to meet me? How did you get this address? Alright. Let's see how she got the address. How did you get this address? You know, my mistress has exceptional connections. If they were so exceptional, she wouldn't have chosen me. Huh. Be so hard on you. Was it a raccoon with a scarred face called Zip? No, Mr. Featherland. Mm. Lucky for you, Deborah. Wonderful meet Zip later. What exactly did you expect by coming here to meet me? I expected your help. Just oh, that's very nice. But have you seen this neighborhood? Have you seen this wreck? Someone reliable. Well, I am reliable. And discreet. That's right. And thorough. No question about that. And has a heart of gold. Okay, let's stop it right there. 
doing some sort of jam. Are you in some sort of jam? Nothing of the sort. There are simply things better left up. Then you're wasting my time. I trust your instincts. Yeah, and I have no other choice, right? To be honest, no, Mr. Featherland. Not really. Hmm, we don't have a choice. Don't you think this whole thing is a little suspicious? Look, Santino. I'll explain everything. I have no doubt about that. You look just the type, sweetheart. No offense. I'll take that as a... You see, we're starting to understand each other. Tell me, Deborah, why should I believe you at all? Because my mistress trusts you. Should that be enough? If you really like what she thinks you are... Damn, what can I say to that? Look, I didn't mean to back you up. You have a way with words, sweetheart. Did you ever want to be a cop? No, not for the world. <laughs> Smart answer. All right, well, this is the last thing we can ask. Be honest and tell me what you're so afraid of. You know, Mr. Featherland, my mistress's partner is Hobart Wessler. Ibn Wessler, the king. Exactly. Oh, we got a king thing to go help me. So you get it now. To put it mildly, I think I understand it all. Wessler, this little piece of the puzzle changes everything. Oh. Question and answer got four out of five. Okay. Final thoughts, that's how you do it, partner. Not quite like the old times, but you've still got it. The old rooster still remembers some tricks, eh? Important clue, the employer and Natasha's current significant other is the infamous gangster Weasler. Okay, well, six, four out of five ain't bad. Why don't you... Please, take... Well, okay, let's see. What do we get? Got a new item. We go and look at the item. Okay, so we push right to check out what's in our bag and the old stick. I know Molly very well. Please note this spring doing whether or not to accept my assignment. Miss Ibanez is a trusted friend. Treat her as a gentleman. I know Molly very well. Okay, didn't have to read it out. I felt like I'd been hit on the back of my head with a blackjack. Reality Into a whirlpool of oblivion. Molly. Good. That's Mr. exactly Hedlund? Leslie would buy. They've got the playbook. Santino, are you all right? What the hell is this supposed to mean? I don't know anything, Mr. Santino. My mistress told me to give this to you. She said you'd understand. Oh, of course I understand, Miss Ibanez. I get it very well. Blackmail? Don't play innocent with me. But... All right. When can I visit? Visit? Me? Not you. Oh, yes. You can find her at the Zark. Didn't you tell me she's not the social kind? That she's especially unsociable? Or does she... No, she's really not like that. But she owns the place. Judging by the flyer, it must be a very busy club. I'm sure you'll have no trouble finding Miss Katsenko. But there's... One small problem. Let me guess. Mr. Wessler better not know about my visit. Exactly. How did you know? 20 years experience, ma'am. Oh, and please, call me Sonny. It was a pleasure to meet you, Mr. I mean, Sonny. I'll talk about the rest with Ms. Katsenko in person. A good friend of mine would be happy to take you home if you'd like. I'd appreciate that, Sonny. Alrighty, we discovered heaps of stuff. So we can, can we send her on our way? Thank you again. Don't mention it. I'm sorry. Thoughts up. We can't. Alright, can we bail? Let's see if there's anything we need. Maybe we've got a trusty Smith and Wesson. Ha! <laughs> she doesn't seem so dangerous. My wallet and my last cigarette. Behind that door lies the king. All right, let's get out of here and get a pastrami and rye. If we can. Maybe we can't leave. 
I don't see colors. I got loose. Oh, what? I've got to dial in all those numbers. I don't remember all those numbers. Triple five nine three two. Triple five nine three two. Hey, Lewis. Am I bothering you? No. <laughs> of course not, Freddy. Could you come over? I've got a favor to ask if... For you, anything. Just... All right. We've got a ride for the dame. Lewis arrived a few minutes later. He lived in the rooms above. Thanks for being so quick, Lewis. Can you drive Miss Ibanez home? I have some things to take care of. Sonny. Thank you for being so considerate, son. Don't mention it. Goodbye, then. So long, Deborah. Before I visit the club, I have to take a detour. I've got a feeling that this case isn't going to be a one-man job. And there's only one bird in this city I... Alrighty. I can always count on... You got an iPhone. Well, I... I'll... 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 <laughs> Why do I have the f Could I ask you a Feel free. Alright, we can ask her a few more questions. I've already told you more about Afraid you'll I'm afraid I oh So this an attack Look, I'm just the messenger. You have to talk to my miss I see. Please, Sonny, let's not make this even more un Okay. Thank you. Sonny, I've already... You really? I'm not... Let me get... It's... Issue. I would do... I see... Thank you... Sonny, please... Do you think my... Do you think... Well, I was hoping... Clawville is a big... Oh, please... So, Ibn Wessler, eh? If I started... You're right. He's one of the most dangerous... I only know he's an influence. Isn't that... Not even you can see the world as that black... So this an attack... Alright, so I think we've asked her over then. This dame is a nice... Maybe I'm just... Oh. Yes, Sonny? I don't want to sound it... Uh, <clears throat> well, it, it wouldn't work as well with my feathers. Just for... Occupational hazard? There are parlors... That's, uh... Uh, good. You're one strange bird. Well, I've been called worse. All right, make off, guys. I can always count on <laughs> the good old rabbit. I. All right, we've got a new location on our map by pushing it up on the old school joystick. We should be able to go to the Caesar nightclub now, hopefully. It was cool. New Year's Eve, start. and I was driving, half drunk, risking my whole life's work. But still, it didn't feel any different. Every day was the same, and the 121 days I had left till my retirement seemed like an eternity. When I look out the window of the hotel room I call home, I see the same thing every day. A woman in a red nightgown dances slowly in circles to smooth music. The nine o'clock show with a glass of cheap bourbon and the red gown with the silent music. In the meantime, the proud city of Clawville is slowly eating itself alive. And we're still here with nothing left to lose but our sanity. While others, the smart ones, had already gone. Marty McChicken. Molly. Does her name really upset me this much? All those years of solitude, and I still jump without question every time I hear it. And then there's Marty, my ex-partner, who hates me. But I know I have to speak with him. 
no matter what. Why do I feel like the past is watching me on this goddamn night? Chapter one, detour. Selves behind that night. Alrighty, well I'm gonna leave it there. I, I might come back and play chapter one if anyone wants me to. Let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think of this game. I don't mind it. It's a bit of a slow burner kind of mystery. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the old text adventures, but with cool chicken pictures. Anyway, I don't mind it. Let me know what you think. And I'll be back playing more games soon at Game of Ed as y'all.